there are women in rural India who do not have the same access as I do, who do not even have families which are supportive of them and these are young girls. Can you imagine those women who as it is are a part of a very patriarchal setup and when, when if you imagine if a pornography video was mobbed with their image, their families would have just stopped them from doing what they are doing and they would not even have had the courage to go to a police station and report because in our country also there is a great deal of patriarchy. One thing that the UN thing helped me really substantially is it kind of amplified my voice and it got the attention of India. Online trolling is never considered a big deal. They are not coming to the home, it's all virtual. What this has kind of helped make people understand this is not a virtual problem. When you dox me, when you put my image, when you put my phone number, when you put my address on social media with messages to gang rape me, when you send me burnt copies of my book at my residence, it's no longer virtual, it's, it's a virtual lynch mob. So what the UN and other agencies etc which have really done if there's one good thing that's come out of it is that it has addressed the issue. I hope the UN and other agencies actually keep the pressure on these, uh, on these social media and other platforms and governments to stop this hate against journalists and free speech.